Hey guys, it's Troy the Able Farmer, and this is my daughter Olivia. Hello. <laughs> and my daughter Ellie. Hello. Ah. Anyway, we picked up some goldfish today, and you may ask why we picked them up from Walmart. They were 28 cents a piece, and we bought them to try something out. Now, I use rain barrels on the homestead to water my turkeys and my quail and um, and even the chickens sometimes. So we have these rain barrels here behind us. And uh, the idea behind it is that the goldfish I'm gonna put into the rain barrel and they will feed off of the mosquito larva. Anything we could do around here to prevent, you know, mosquitoes from breeding with standing water and everything, uh, the more we could do, the better. So I thought, well, why not try a natural method of just putting goldfish in there and they could chow down on them little guys. So anyway, I thought I'd show you guys and we'll go ahead and I actually have two rain barrels. I have 10 fish. I'm gonna put five in one and five in the other. So we're gonna go ahead and separate these guys out and put them in. I'll quickly show you guys the setup here. Uh, I'm gonna do a more broader video here in the future. I'm gonna do a more broader video here in the future. Uh, that shows my entire water system and how I have it hooked up to my duck pond and Also how I have it tied into this rain barrel that I could fill this rain barrel on demand So anyway guys, I am going to bring in here and show you real quick the rain barrel and what I'm going to do All right guys, here's my rain barrel. You see I have the gutters on my chicken coop To allow the water to run into my rain barrel and Then I have a hose that comes out of the bottom that runs over into the watering pan for the turkeys. If you listen closely, you can hear the water trickling into the barrel. And that's because I have the water that supplies my duck pond, I tie it in where I could valve it off and run it into my rain barrel. So in the summer when we're not getting much rain, I can go ahead and fill it. And so that's what I'm doing now. I'm actually filling it up because, oh, I mean, it's only down about 10 inches or so. All right, guys, I got my fish here. I bought a little net to catch them with. And uh, like I said, I hope they live. If they don't, I'm out $3. So I actually thought about buying some for my ducks to put in the pond and see if my ducks wanted to, to give them to my ducks to eat. But, uh, but anyway, I'm gonna try it in my rain barrel first. And, uh, and then maybe I'll go back and get some more. I was really tempted to buy some koi. They had some koi there. They're almost $6 a fish. And if they, if they would have survived in this, I would have maybe got some of them. But I think these barrels practically freeze solid in the winter. So I'll okay. so catch one here. There's my first one. There's one. Two. Just watch. There's three. Four. One more. Mm. All right, guys, we got all five of them in here, so we're gonna head up to the other rain barrel up by the house. All right, guys, here is my rain barrel up by the house. You see how it comes out my it comes down the spouting and into the barrel. I have an overflow that runs down into the uh, into the downspout under underground to run away from it. Go ahead, turn that on, Olivia. And we'll use this one to water the dogs and uh, water plants and whatnot. Uh, these these are really easy to make. Uh, the barrel, I think I get it. I got it at Rural King for say twenty dollars. You gotta buy um, a couple little parts of pieces. These are all over the internet. Um, maybe I'll look for a video and link it into the description below on how to make it. I will show you, but I'm not really in need of another one. So 
it is a handy thing to have, especially if you have an area that you're not close to a spigot or a uh, garden hose. Uh, you guys shut it off, huh? Good. So anyway, we're going to put the goldfish into this one. I have five more left. All right, the key to these rain barrels are these little pieces right here. These are called bulkheads. And this is what you use. You use a hole saw to drill into the side of the barrel and you fit these bulkheads on and they have threads on the inside and the outside that you sandwich this between, you sandwich the plastic of the barrel in between the pieces. And uh, this is the key and I noticed at certain places these are pretty pricey. Definitely the cheapest place to get these are on Amazon and I'll put the link in the description below on where to get these. And like I said, this is a very simple project and it is handy to have. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put these fish in here and I won't need a net this time because I only got five of them left. And we are going to release these guys into the rain barrel. There we go. We got mosquito larvae in there. Look at this. See them wiggling? I'll show you guys those mosquito larvae here in a second. I'm going to release these fish into the barrel. You see them? No. All of them out. Yep. Now they're in there. Alright guys. Can you see on there mosquito larva? Just a second. There's one. So the idea here is to break the life cycle of the mosquito. Not only do they carry West Nile and malaria to people, but they can also transmit diseases between your poultry. The encephalitis virus can be transmitted between mosquitoes and um, your poultry. So like everybody says it's not good to have standing water around and especially in the summer when you're not getting much circulation in these rain barrels mosquitoes can become a problem and I was, I'm hoping to combat these with the fish because these will be nice tasty little morsels for little goldfish. So anyway I hope they survive if they don't, then maybe it'll be on to plan B. And uh, I have heard of other things such as putting a thin layer of oil on the top, such as an olive oil or a vegetable oil. And then that doesn't that that makes it impossible for the mosquito to penetrate the oil into the water because it sits on the surface. But anyway, I'm gonna go with the goldfish method. Um, and we'll we'll go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, got something from this. And if you could please like and subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that would be great. So, like I said, here in about, oh, what? I guess it's tomorrow. I gotta do um, week three of my meat chickens. And I'm gonna head up there and feed them now, and tomorrow will be the update. Uh, hopefully the video quality of this is better. I've been really struggling with the camera. Uh, it's a lot smarter than I am and I had this weird tinting problem and I'm trying to work it out. I promise I'll get better at it. I'm new to this. I really, I'm not very knowledgeable in the camera work, but uh, I'm trying. So hopefully my quality will get better and I hope you get something from my videos and I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.